Ah, Gary's Mod, the game where you can do pretty much anything. We recently did a video comparing Gary's Mod to JB Mod, but now today we're going to talk about something specifically just G Mod. Well, actually, that's not the case. We're going to be talking about something that's used in, in fact, a lot of games. Actually, something that's not even in Gary's Mod naturally, and that is parallax mapping. So, what is parallax mapping? Well, Wikipedia says. It's implemented by displacing the texture coordinates at a point on a rendered polygon by a function of the view angle in tangent space. Alright, that's a lot to take in. If you're a game developer or anyone who works with code, or any kind of modern game design, you probably know a lot about parallax mapping. But just to put it in a very simple term, parallax mapping pretty much turns a 2D texture into something that looks like it has 3D depth. AKA, the stone wall you see in video games. Well, they could individually model each stone to jut out, but that would be extraordinarily taxing. What if instead they used parallax mapping and turned that 2D texture into something that appeared to be 3D? And of course, you could achieve this using shaders to really get an amazing effect, and you might think, well, you have to incorporate this into the actual game design while you're developing it, right? But well, today we're going to prove that you do not need to, because Kenny has found a way to add parallax mapping into Gary's mod. So maybe to some people this might not be all that surprising, but to me, this honestly just kind of blows my mind. So let's go into this and showcase exactly what parallax mapping looks like in Gary's mod. Alright, here we are in the map, and just so you all know, you do need to download a separate shader, an external shader, into your Gary's Mod, but it's very simple. You just throw it into your Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod folder. Make sure you're not on the 64 branch. I actually did have to reinstall into the standard Gary's Mod branch, and everything will be fine. So, we have two mods here. One, we have Parallax Bullets, which came after the original Parallax test map, which Stay tuned to the end, because we're going to check out It's Amazing. What this pretty much does is it adds parallax mapping to bullet holes. Look at this. Tell me that it's not awesome. It really is just super cool. I know it's super small. It's, it's nothing crazy, right? But it pretty much just adds depth and makes it look like there's actual holes in the wall. But crazy thing is, we have not deformed this model or texture in any way. We're just utilizing parallax mapping to make it appear as if it's 3D, and it looks awesome. It works with the crowbar, it also works with, well, pretty much any weapon. And it's just going to add a bit more depth, get it? Because depth, because it actually looks like a, a hole in the wall. Anyway, it's going to make your game look more realistic and feel more, well, less flat. Now, if Kenny expands on this and adds parallax mapping in other ways in Gary's mod, I cannot wait to see what he does, but there's no absolute confirmation on that. Unfortunately, you cannot get parallax bullet holes onto an NPC, but that would probably look a little weird anyway. And besides, we have Gib mods, we don't need it. Alright, so here we are in the map, and this is going to have everything you need to truly grasp what parallax mapping is. We have a few textures here and some details that are going to properly represent exactly what this is. So, we're gonna actually start over here. So we can see that these textures are very flat, you know, very, very flat. Same with these, and same with the floor. It, it looks like standard Gary's Mod. But, if you open up this menu, I mean, there's a lot of readme stuff here, so if you wanna check that out, but we're interested in this down here. This is going to scale the parallax depth. All we're gonna do is simply scale this to one. Set it to 1, and suddenly, we have depth. So not only do we have perceived depth in this cube here, as you can see, but even in the floor. Now, this texture is a bit rough, so it doesn't look perfect, of course, but check this out. Even in the individual cracks, we have a bit of depth, and if you look that close, it doesn't look all that great, but from far away, look how awesome this looks. I don't know, this just looks really cool compared to, again, going back to zero. Yeah, it just looks so flat and basic. All right, now we're gonna go to this rocky floor here. Now, I did actually make the parallax a little high. Let's go ahead and go down here. This looks pretty good. So, if we go all the way down to, like, the eye level, and there you have it, you can see we do have our depth with just our 2D texture using parallax mapping to make it appear 3D. 
And we could go even further than this by just really cranking it up. Now, I don't recommend doing this, but it looks really trippy nonetheless, so hey, screw it. All right, so we're back to one. Now we're gonna go to this brick wall here, and this is where I think it looks the most impressive. So this wall, I mean, from here, it looks, well, like a wall. But again, looking at it from a different angle, and check this out, here's the cool thing. It is technically still like a 2D texture, look at that. The model has not actually gotten any new polygons to my knowledge. We're just utilizing this technique to make it appear to have depth, and it just, it, it's so cool. It's, it's such an interesting game design mechanic, and I imagine a lot of developers have used it in games to really get some interesting results. And once again, we can crank it all the way up, and it looks pretty dang weird. So it's not really so much that the model comes out, but more so that elements of it go in to give it that depth. All right, now we're gonna go on to the wood. This is probably the most photorealistic looking one to me. Like, I know obviously if you look really close, that's when it kind of gets a little ugly, but blame the bad textures in Gary's mod for that. But from far away or from like a decent angle away, it has just enough depth to kind of throw you off and make you think, huh, those look like individual models. And then we also have this over here, the face, which is kind of the most odd looking one. And we can, of course, again, increase the depth. This one's kind of hard to get right, because if you do it a little too much, it kind of looks goofy. Look at that. We have an actual face. And it looks like it actually goes in, but get this, it doesn't. It's just a trick. So I know a lot of people might think this is kind of a lame video or it's not that interesting, but I think this is seriously cool. Like anything game design just blows my mind. I'm not very familiar with any kind of coding or modeling or any game design elements whatsoever. So anything that really brings stuff like this into Gary's Mod is just a treat to really check out. By the way, we also have this other option, but after messing with it, I couldn't find exactly what it does. So I wouldn't really worry too much about it. This is the fun one. <laughs> very, very fun. But let me know what you guys think down below. Is this a cool feature? Would you love to see more stuff like this in Gary's Mod? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, leave a like, subscribe. Links are in the description. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching and farewell.